So I wanted to show you some books that I uh, would like to recommend for the short stories readathon. So I've uh, started reading The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes. And I am very impressed because I was a little bit anxious to read uh, Sherlock Holmes. I've read um, The Hound of the Baskervilles and I really like it, but it was a little bit difficult to read. And I usually don't read short stories, so I thought, mm, I hope I can enjoy them. But I, I love them. I love them. Some of them are a little bit too creepy for me. A little bit too graphic for me. I enjoy more stories that where it's about the setting, the coziness, the relationships between the protagonists, in this case, Sherlock Holmes and Watson. But I am really surprised. I didn't think I would love them so much. I love the start of each story because it makes you look forward to what is going to happen. I love uh, a Scandal in Bohemia and especially my favorite so far is the Redhead Leak. It is really fun. It's about a redheaded league and the condi you you can only be part of this league if you have red hair and that's really a, a great idea <laughs> i think and what i like about these uh, sherlock holmes stories is the setting it is really cozy i love uh, the relationship between watson and sherlock holmes because i think sherlock holmes is special uh, also and I am very happy for him that he has a friend, Watson, and in one of the stories he says it is he is his only friend. He feels very comfortable with him, and Sherlock Holmes adds Watson's life some adventures, adventure of course, and so both complement each other. And Sherlock Holmes and Watson's relationship reminded me a lot of Poirot's uh, and Hastings' relationship, and. If you are thinking about getting um, an edition with Sherlock Holmes stories or books, in this gorgeous edition of Barnes and Nobles, you have all, all books with Sherlock Holmes and all the stories. It's beautiful. I love it. Um, it's just so gorgeous. And so you could also could get this edition. The second book of short stories that I would like to recommend you, this Agatha Christie, A Cool Poirot Short Stories. All short stories, there are more than 50, are in this book. It's really big. It's, it's okay to read, but it's a little bit difficult because it's a little bit heavy. But I got it because I wanted to have all the stories. I have read some of them and I had lots of fun. I started reading this book last year for the 30 books in 30 days readathon, where you can read also short stories uh, as books. And I'm looking forward to read all of them. I think these Poirot short stories are the best way to get to learn more about Agatha Christie's writing style and Poirot's and Hastings' relationship, and also Poirot as a person. So I can recommend this edition and the short stories. From this uh, from this edition, I, you can get the Agatha Christie Miss Marple short stories, uh, the Poirot stories, and also Detective in Jack Young Adventures. I would love to try that. And if you want to get a beautiful edition of uh, the short stories, you can get this edition. There is also a summer edition that I am planning to get. The cover is beautiful. These are the Harper Collins Publishers editions. I am collecting them. Oh, they are so beautiful and gorgeous. And before I go, I wanted to show you these Nicola stories, short stories, written by Goshini and illustrated by Sampe. Uh, Goshini is the author of Asterix. It has really, really cute illustrations. I think this is the perfect short story when you have five minutes, ten minutes. And most of them are really funny and cute and charming. The stories of Nicola are very famous uh, in France. These are different stories. Some of them take place at the school. Some of them take place at home with uh, his parents and with his friends. 
I love them. I have not read them all, but I am very glad that in this readathon I will be finishing this cute, cute book. This, for example, A Bunch of Flowers is one of my favorites. And this edition has this big uh, illustration at the beginning of every story. And so Nicolas has this really big bunch of flowers for his mom. Uh, but of course, uh, on the way home, um, he loses most of the flowers. <laughs> but of course, his mother knows how, how to react to that. I recommend this book just for some reading, maybe at the beginning of the of the day if you don't have a lot of time. Like it says here, I think these stories are to be read, reread, and loved forever. <laughs> Lovable, naive, and very French. Nicolas is timeless. I love these covers with little lots of little things. So I hope you have lots of fun during this short stories readathon. I am looking forward to read more Agatha Christie stories and more Sherlock Holmes stories and more Nicola. So cute stories. And I have some other um, books that I am planning to to try for this readathon. I hope you are doing very well and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye!